I had someone close to me go to jail for punching someone in the face. Um, there's a lot of marital things going on. Um, so his ex's new boy. Um, yeah, there's some things going on there. And then the other one is the um, they wrote pre-signed checks um, when they went out of town and the workers um, made the person giving out the pre-signed checks write more than what they earned, like thousands of dollars more that was not in the company. And so that person, when they got him back down, went straight to jail. And there's been a couple other things like that where it wasn't like, their actions that that person went to jail and and like people just screwed them over um so it's hard from like a third third person perspective to feel that someone who's like you know is a good person gets wrongly accused or you know you you know all of the context as to why they acted out like when that person punched that other person and like and like honestly, that guy probably deserved to be pun punched, but did it still right? No, but now there's actual consequences um to protect people in that way. Um and and so it's just like you never the struggle is that you you never think it's fair. Or even and then you people I can see how they struggle with like separation of family and job positions after that and just like the judgment of of your neighbors when they see you get in a police car and things like that and you know people at church you know I could see like oh what did you do because not because everyone doesn't really know all that's going on um what is within my power regarding the things that I've learned in this lesson um that's important not to judge um I think that there are good people always but I do think that there are some people that really have no intention of doing good and that they enjoy the criminal lifestyle and and they cause harm to other people without any regret I know there's people that cause harm with regret and but you never know who's who and so I think just not judging is really really important